Okay, this is the piece of fitting that goes into the pipe that joins the accumulator to the main fuel line that runs under the car. As you can see, whilst trying to get it off, it sheared, it was stuck solid basically. Now, I've actually ordered another one of these fittings from Mercedes, and they're about £2.50. In fact, I've ordered another two from Mercedes just in case I needed to replace the whole fuel line. They cost about £2.50 and this pipe here is no longer available from Mercedes. And these days most fuel lines on cars are either nylon or copper. So I'm going to actually try, what I've done is I've bought an inline 8 um, mil fuel coupler from Plum Centre. Cost about £1.20. And what I'm going to try and do, this is my plan A, okay, I'm going to take a hacksaw because I can't get a pipe cutter in there to cut that cleanly. So I'm going to take a hacksaw and I'm going to cut it just there and then I'm going to see if this will actually fit on with a standard plumbing compression fitting. There's enough pipe left on there. And then all I need to do is cut the other end of the fuel pipe and join it and that will save a whole load of heartache. That is plan A. Plan B is to get a new one of these, flare it, we need a special pipe flaring kit. This costs about £14.70 from Tool Station. And what you do is you just flare the end of the pipe, put the new fitting on from Mercedes, and then probably I could still use this end to join to the other end of the fuel pipe and just cut cut the other end of the fuel pipe. So plan A is to see if I can do it without using any additional pipe. Plan B is to get a new fitting from Mercedes that arrives tomorrow, flare it using this kit, never done it before, but how hard can it possibly be? Tighten it up and then try and join the other end of the pipe. And plan C is to replace the whole fuel pipe. You can buy this pipe, this is copper pipe, we might from Plum Centre for, it costs about £14.50 plus VAT for three metres or £34 for 10 metres. I've got a suspicion that on the Mercedes 280SL R107 that there's slightly more than three metres of pipe. But anyway, let's try plan A first. We've got plan B and plan C. Okay, I've cut off the pipe but as you can see I think you can see it's not completely round so what I'm going to try and do is take an allen key put it down at the end of there just tap it down and see if I can just round that pipe out and then I'm going to use the end of a screwdriver just to deburr it okay I've tapped the allen key through there a couple of times just to make that hole round and now you can do is these things will now fit over there and over that piece of pipe so it just remains to be seen whether it's enough whether it's long enough for it allows to join the pipe okay so far so good plan a is working we've attached that eight mil compression coupler bought from plum center directly to the bit that screws into the new Accumulated fuel line. All we have to do now is go back to the car, cut the fuel line, see if it will fit in there, tighten the fitting up, and test the car. Okay, I've cut off the other end of the pipe, but this pipe is quite rusty. As a consequence, when you try and get that over it, it doesn't quite fit in there. So what I'm going to have to do is just sand down the other end of the pipe, see if we can take off some of that rust so that these fittings actually fit in there. Okay, after a little bit of sanding the rust off, wiping it with a wrapper rust, I've managed to get the end fitting on. Always remembering when you move that pipe, it's still full of petrol, which I'd forgotten. I'm now going to try and screw the other bit on, tighten it up. Okay. I've tightened up the fitting as best I can. Now it's time to screw the other end on, this end to the accumulator, and test it. Where you live in there, 
this is the pipe that connects the accumulator to the main feed line but as you can see it's got different fittings on either end and the larger fitting needs to attach to the main fuel line and the smaller fitting needs to attach to the accumulator i attached it up the wrong way around and wondered why i couldn't get the thing to connect so let's let's try that again shall we Okay, I've tightened all the fittings up as best I can. Last thing is to connect up the fuel pump and then fire up the engine and check for leaks. I've connected the fuel pump up, but one thing I notice is that this little pipe here would be much better if it was routed the other way so that the electrical wires weren't potentially touching. And similarly with this pipe up to the accumulator, it would be much better if it was actually routed underneath and up the back. So I'm going to try and do that without leaking petrol everywhere. So that is leaking like a sieve. I'm going to quickly free you out where... One very small tip is put these rubber caps on before you put this banjo hose on because if you put this banjo hose on first test everything and then come to put these caps on you'll find that it is almost impossible to squeeze it through so that's just a little tip